Welcome to my DIY channel. Today I'm gonna be making a garland that's gonna coordinate with my Christmas tree. A little bit of candy cane, some buffalo check, so whimsical and fun. But really the same technique could be applied to any style garland and as usual it's gonna be easy to follow the steps and just so cute on a budget, okay? <laughs> If you like these type of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have so many more fun DIYs coming up, okay? So let's get started. So you're gonna need a pine garland. Mine is an old one from Walmart. I already attached lights to it. In addition, you're gonna need color coordinating ribbons. I picked the same ones as for my Christmas tree. The buffalo check ribbon is from Dollar Tree. Also, I have some ribbon from BJ's and Michael's. I also got some Christmas picks, which I split apart to smaller pieces. You can get good value at Target, Walmart, and even Hobby Lobby now has 50% off. To decorate our garland, we're gonna use ornaments. You can find good prices at Dollar Tree. Also Walmart turns out like five ornaments for a dollar, which is great. Family Dollar is another good one. And also I got these beautiful ornaments at Kirkland's at half price, actually 60% off right now. I'm making a fan garland, so I'm gonna use these adorable little snowmen from Dollar Tree and Walmart and from Dollar General. Also, it's a good idea to add flowers to your design, and I love these yarn poinsettias. I got these yesterday on sale at Kirkland's for $3.80 a piece, but Walmart had them for $2.98. I got them for my Christmas tree. Unfortunately, they sold out so fast. So 80 cents more at Kirkland's, but I'm happy to find them. <laughs> they had plenty more left, guys. Also, I'm gonna add these adorable little legs and a hat from Walmart. As you know, I have uh, elf's legs in my Christmas tree, so that's gonna coordinate perfectly. Feel free to check out my Christmas tree video if you haven't seen it yet. I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I just wanna take this opportunity to tell you thank you so much for watching our channel. Love you so much and appreciate you every day. You are such a blessing to me and Coco, and Tweety Bird. <laughs> uh, so thank you, my besties. I uh, just want you to know that you are so loved and appreciated, okay? So I'm gonna put my garland on a fireplace, but it could go really anywhere, around your door, a window, china cabinet, or a dresser, anywhere around your house. I recommend adding at least three command hooks and hanging your garland in place for decorating. That way all your decorations will be in perfect spot. And of course, as you can see, I have my helpers ready to go. So let's get busy. <laughs> so my garland is ready, it's lit, and let's start off with the biggest ornaments. These are the beautiful ornaments I got at Kirkland's. A little bit more than $3 a piece. It's actually a very good price for this size of ornaments. And now we're going to add the ribbon. You're going to cut four sets of 36 inches long ribbon. It is much easier to manage your ribbon when it's cut to pieces. All you have to do is just pinch six inch tail, tie it with the two pine tips, run it across, pinch it, and tie it at the bottom there with the two pine tips as well. Fix it up and that's it. Do the same thing on the other side and on the two corners. And here you can see exactly what we did if you want to copy exact same pattern. This is a standard nine foot garland. Actually nothing special, kind of ugly, but we're going to make it look pretty. <laughs> Next step is optional. I'm going to add the bestie bow in the center of my garland. It is my subscriber's favorite because it's the easiest bow to make. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. It is one of my most popular videos actually. I'm going to use all the scraps of ribbons that I have left, should be about 24 inches long, some of them are shorter and some are longer. 
So this is easy. All you have to do is just measure six inch loops, pinch them together, tie with a floral wire, and fluff it up until a pretty bestie bow appears. Again, for more detailed slower instructions, check out my video. We're gonna attach the bestie bow in the center of the garland right there above the big ornament. You see how pretty, even though it was made out of scraps. <laughs> and look at that helper, no help as usual. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add these candy cane swirls, 350 each at Hobby Lobby. We're gonna attach by twisting the pine tips around each stem, just like so. Just add one on each side and the third one in the middle. Oh, I love it. I think it's perfect for that whimsical fan look that I'm going for. Of course, if it's not your style, you can add other pigs. I have other garland ideas on my channel from Glamorous to Winter Wonderland. Feel free to check out those videos. I'm going to link them for you down below. Oh my goodness, look at that sleeping beauty. Next, separate your Christmas pigs to smaller pieces and create clusters. It's very simple. Just take a piece, layer one on top of the other, just like so. And you're going to use one of the stems to tie around the whole thing. And just like that, you make a cute little cluster and you're going to repeat the same steps make at least six of them. We are going to add these clusters throughout the garland simply by tying with the pine tips. And I have some of these uh, glittery branches left over, so I'm just going to tie one at each end. And here you can see how much these sprays and the clusters transform the garland. I'm actually going to add two more of these at the top corners. Next, I'm going to add two of these adorable poinsettias. I don't need one in the center because I have the bestie bow there, so I think this is perfect. Now we're going to add our additional ornaments, like those clips that I have, the little feet and the hat and some of the big ornaments I got from the Family Dollar. Next, we're going to use the pipe cleaners, thread the ornaments, uh, tie them together, and create little clusters of three and two. We are going to add these in empty spots throughout the garland. Oh no, I almost forgot to add these beauties. I think I'm gonna attach one at each end. And we're going to finish this off by adding the special ornaments that we want to display, like the snowman. Stay tuned to watch me decorate the rest of the fireplace. I got some stockings on sale last year at Marshall's. Two for $6.50, that's a great deal. 
I have these old Christmas trees. Uh, these are from Home Goods, and the little wooden tree that I made last year. You can see how in this video. I also have these Dollar Tree houses that I'm gonna put on the shelf there. I'm gonna put out the snowballs I got at the Target Dollar Spot one year. Add a couple more of those elf feet ornaments from Walmart. And a Santa Claus that I already have. And I think that's gonna be it. Just in case you haven't seen my previous video, I made that signpost out of Dollar Tree items. I will link that video for you in the description box below. Feel free to check it out. I make a lot of coordinating decor by myself on the budget using mostly Dollar Tree items because, you know, it's not easy to buy everything new when you're changing up the color or theme of your decor. So I have a lot of inspiration for you on my channel. Right, my besties so this is it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you had enjoyed that and you learned something new i inspire you a little bit to create if i did please give me a like and subscribe to my channel i don't want you to miss any future videos coming up as usual it's gonna be fun and beautiful and on the budget okay <laughs> see you next time my besties bye bye